All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. We're sitting over here in the Freedom Studios. Uh, the reason I'm standing up versus sitting down is I want to share with you uh, something that I am toying with, or <laughs> let's just say this. I'm switching up from an outer waistband holster to an in waistband holster. Reason being is this guy right here, Old Faithful, has started developing a crack in the Kydex right here. Um, level one retention. Uh, I don't want there to be a crack, have a firearm fall out. Uh, anyway, bad things happen. So one of the things I wanted to do was experiment with in waistband holsters. Now I do carry an M&P9 uh, in waistband, as well as an M&P45 in uh, ACP uh, in waistband. And uh, with those, I use this little, little clip right here. Now this is, let's just say, ordered a holster from a company called JX Tactical, veteran-owned business, made in the USA. Um, and there was a couple different options for, and we'll get to the story, okay, I'll get to it. But anyway, it came with the uh, Ulta clip right here, or not the Ulta clip, but the uh, basic clip that you normally see on in waistband holsters, as well as you could order it with this guy right here, the Ulta clip. Now, <laughs> Uh, they do offer in waistband, out of waistband, fat boy, that kind of things like that. But this one actually showed up with the soft loops. Now, I have not utilized the soft loops uh, ever. Okay, so this is what we're looking at right here, guys. Okay, um, so I tried it out. And one of the things that I found is that with the other belts, and I use an in waistband belt right here, like with the, uh, uh, not the in waistband, the inner, inner belt from a competition belt. I just leave it on all the time. It's Velcroed. It's an inch and a half but it's a little thin and with using this clip uh, oftentimes when I got out of the car or something I had to make sure that my pistol was still tucked in and the clip was engaged with the belt. What I'm finding that I've worn this thing for about a month now is that I don't have to worry about it with the soft loops and I really wasn't a big fan of the soft loops simply because I felt like uh, ease of putting it on and off and then I found out if you're accustomed to feeding your belt through these loops here why not do it here and yes uh it was very easy now i want to show you something and i don't normally do belt or uh, what do you call it holster reviews but this guy right here is very comfortable and i am carrying a 19x probably a little long on the on the tail end but it conceals very well uh, especially because i wear either a long t-shirt or something like this uh don't have any problems concealing it, it fits doesn't move and uh that's it. So the, with the belt loops, the soft loops, uh, I've just been able to basically do like I did with my other belt and just pull it through like that and then pull it out. And that way you just reach it up, put it wherever you want. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to take it over to the table and I'm going to show you, uh, well, get, a little, get out of here. I'm going to show you a little ins and outs about this thing. Uh, again, like I said, I don't normally do uh, holster reviews because, well, I haven't done a holster review in probably <laughs> several years. But um, this thing's pretty impressive. So uh, just to show you what I am wearing in and out of every day. All right, so here we go. Let's get back to the table. But before we do that, because this guy is loaded with Fort Scott munitions. That's that spun copper stuff. Let's make sure the firearm's clear. All right, so let's go to the table. Stand by. All right, guys, so we're sitting here on the table, and this is it basically in a nutshell. Now, I will tell you the first thing that I do when I get a Kydex holster, and it's been a while, is I will check the inner portion of this thing. The reason you do that is that while they have the Kydex out or there's something could be in the press, uh, you're going to maybe have some aggregate or some dust or something that gets tagged up in there. I've actually had firearms ruined because of that. And, again, this thing is clear, but I don't want you to listen to this snap it's in there you do have a tensioning screw right here the cool thing also is you have multiple little points of connection here so that you can tilt it any way you want more a little bit more a little less it is held on and i need to make sure that these are tightened up as you see with the clip you can go ahead and angle it in and out like that i normally like to have a 20 or 30 degree cant on it so that the firearm is like this the cool thing about the belt stuff is i can tilt it any way i want the nice thing about it is you do have a bunch of uh, areas where you can hook stuff into it. You can put the Ulta clip on it. Also, if you're going to opt for these snap dock fasteners, let's see here if I can remember how to do these things. You've got a couple different 
little connection points right here of, of adjustment. So that makes it really simple. Let's talk about the company real quick because uh, that's one of the things that's very important. They are handcrafted in the United States. They do offer a wide variety. If you go to their website, it's jxtactical.com, jxtactical.com. They provide uh, options for every body. That's not everybody, but every body type <laughs> through the range of styles, including standard in waistband, outer waistband, as well as the fat guy, AIWB, inner waistband, and a low rider, outer waistband. The Fat Guy Appendix Care Inner Waistband makes an appendix carry comfortable option for all body styles, including those with little extra tactical fluff padding. We're trying to get away from that. So in any case, the biggest thing is, is they want to provide you with some good quality stuff. And this looks like a pretty decent item. Also, if you have an extended barrel like this right here, you're probably going to have to either specify that or you're going to have to cut that out. The channel is equipped so that you can have high-rise sights. Now this particular one, and I have actually taken this barrel out, it does not fit the PSA dagger, but um, you can put it on with an optic on top of your firearm. So that's one of the cool things about that. Um, what do I think about it overall? I'm really impressed with the ability to take it in and off and on on a day-to-day -day fashion. I got this thing again, like I said, about a month ago, but I wanted to make sure that I had it, I wore it, uh, I felt like it was comfortable and it was a good viable option for you, the viewers. So with that being said, that's it, man. Good little uh, holster here. It's a good thick Kydex. Uh, they burnish the air edges pretty well so you don't have any sharp edges over here. I did not find that this little part right here dug into my body at any point in time. And I'm trying to remember all the old stuff that I used to do when I used to do holder, holster reviews. but. Uh, I'm hoping to wear this guy for a couple years. And if you guys followed the channel for a long time, you realize and you know that I used to not be a fan of Glock, but when they brought this guy right here out, I am a fan of it. And I have worn this bad boy for, I don't know, since I got it. So with that being said, that's it. Uh, JXTactical.com. Uh, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless us men, women in uniform 24 seven for our freedom, because freedom is not free. Y'all be good. I am out of here. Boom.